Welcome to the Straight No Chasers YouTube channel, and welcome to the club. We really appreciate you being here. If you haven't been here before, we just have two simple rules. Respect everybody's opinion, and allow everybody to speak. If you follow those two rules, we will get along just fine. If you haven't followed any of the mods in the club, please do at this time. Click the greenhouse at the top and join the club. If you violate those two rules, we will send you to Goo York City. Other than that, welcome to Straight No Chasers. It's actually going against that bullshit. That's why the drama rooms are being pushed all the way down to the bottom of the hallway, right? Unless that's all you do is follow motherfuckers who that's all you see. Because, no. Clubhouse know what the fuck they doing. Yeah, and Stevie is. Stevie just Lulu trolling. funny, man. Swag, what up? You want to say she said, Lulu said she got 15 followers. Nobody man. gives a fuck about swag. Man, let's yeah, true. Fuck swag. Man, shut up, Stevie. Let no, that's not what Lulu, Lulu, a real person. What up, Swag? Stevie, right. let other people. I'm gonna say it. something. Right. I'm gonna let it go. Don't Stevie say that. Leave me alone, Stevie. Stevie Durell and Stevie. That's why he loved me, and that's why that motherfucker leave me alone. Right? <laughs> Swag gonna pack your ass up. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> now, is, are we? I, let me ask this question though. Look to you though. Do y'all feel like we gate? Who the biggest bitch in the stage? Ask that question. Stevie, ask this question. Oh no. You said what? Do we gate keep well? What you said? Do you think we feel like? Do you feel like we might be gatekeeping our followers? Because Stevie made a Stevie made it. Yeah, because Stevie basically made a point when he said that I don't invite people on an app that I know because I see they may see me or or, or not they may see me they may do things on this app and it may be a reflection of me and that's how a lot of people look at the invite to this app or invite to your room. You know, some of you guys follow people that may not necessarily be a part of some of the conversations that you actually jump in. You don't want them to get that notification that you didn't jump in some ratchet shit when you didn't been in the business room talking about your wife or and your kids role. and shit, how you needed some money. You know what I'm saying? But, but swag. Yeah, let me say something. Like, Brother Fred, I'm going to let you go. Hello, nah, he I ain't got my, big, I got my phone on the charger. No, I ain't. This is swag. I'm going to say, yeah, they are gatekeeping followers, right? That's a good question. Are people gatekeeping their followers, bro? Yes, they are. That's why a lot of people come in your room, sit in your room, sit in the group. But these so-called fake headliners they is, and they won't get on your stage because they're saying they're not going to make their people come to you. Or if they do sit on your stage, they're not going to pick up their room. Makes sense. I'm done talking. Go ahead. <laughs> You made a lot of good points. I'm gonna pick my I, sister I, I think, in here. Y'all want her to on. come in? I think that you can, Stevie. But the point swag, oh. I think, is this, right? It's nothing. Y'all really wrong want that. my sister? That used to be. I'm talking about the that sister used... that I used to work at Club 112, Freddie. Yeah, Freddie, I'm talking about that. She got sister. a big Buddha, a flat Buddha. She got a big You probably know my sister. She used to say Wingo from Jacket Up. Hey, I big miss booty, up. Judy, I miss big, big, up, big booty, Judy. My sister used oh, to work at Club 112. That's where she told me the brat was gay. And her was crying. In no, the, but hold on, Steve. Before I fucking forget my goddamn point. Um, no, but Mariah swag. I think. A secret I think. See, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Damn. But stop it, Freddie. Say is, Stevie, you know he might forget it. I, I, it's about to. And it's damn my bad, gone. King. I'm um, sorry. Shit. What the fuck? It's because there was a lie. Um, if they don't remember, no, if you don't see, remember, see, no. But what I will address is this: what just took place in the last three minutes. That's also why uh, Fallon. This is for you. When you said it needs new people to basically rebrand and grow for that reason right there, because all the people that's on Clubhouse today, they have a certain mindset and they think that's the mindset. If you continue to do it, like if y'all allowing people to nothing against Stevie, I'm, I'm just giving y'all so y'all can understand that shit there is problematic for this app. No fucking say Stevie. Everybody think it's Stevie. Say Stevie. Yeah. It's no, but everybody does it. Everybody does it. You said what, Fallon? Yeah, like when the conversation gets derailed, it's like I'm not interested anymore. And, you, and you then know, they leave for another room so I can leave. Right. You know? exactly. 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 Yeah, lying. No, but y'all know when people start banging the numbers start. Like, should I stay? Or should I go? Come on, bro. We have no, Stevie. It don't work like that no more. No, it doesn't. Stevie, it does. It, it now it takes Stevie more than just the banging. It takes. It has to be certain people who's banging. Uh, people that can like draw that crowd. But swag. The point. This is what I was going to tell you, right? Jesus when we talking about Sundays. the um. I'm just excited. or from a swag or from a gin gin. That's how but, you build your fucking crowd. But let me ask you this, but, but when right. it, but when it comes down to a, a person being 100, like I, I and I'm just throwing his name out there. But Kim Cuts, you know what I'm saying? No matter where she go, and this is just I'm just taking one person, all right? And it could be a lot of people, but Kim Cuts, she 100 wherever she go. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't have to change to another profile to go into another room or things like that. And I think that's where your followers get confused. It's like, all right, well, 
I shouldn't follow them over here to talk about the shit that they talking about over here because I ain't no, interested like, in that shit when they no, talk no, no, about but I, it there. No, but no, when no, they but over here and they banging, I'm with that shit right there. No, no, no. Listen, like that's like she's the example of what we can. I, you could put her in that pot, right? She's one of those people. She's built her own community. Everybody can't do that. You get what I'm saying? She do her own room. She don't sit up and stay squad be over here. Like she didn't build her shit like that. She built her shit the way she wanted to build it. You get what I'm saying? So at that moment, she can go in any goddamn room, but then everybody knows she's going to open up her own room. Why? Because that's the shit she's built. But most people on Clubhouse, they're not doing that. They didn't do phase one. Phase one was Kim and certain other creators, right? We went out here. We built our own shit first. So then when we start expanding, oh, let me go connect with this person. Let me network with this person. We'll go over there, entertain a room, you know, whatever, whatever. Doing it right now with Jimmy White. But if I want to in one hour, I'll probably open up a room. But right now I'm supporting his room, but I already built the Roosevelt community. Everybody's not doing that. You know what they're doing? And I kept telling my brother, stop doing this. He did it for a year and a half, right? Because this is not his original account. His original account is from December 2020, right? Um, he would always be, just be in everybody else's room. He really just started creating in the last six months. He supported everybody else. But he never took the time to build his own community into now. And that's just a fact. So when it comes to certain creators like that shit, all we did, Jen the same way. Jen know this. Jen built her own shit. She wasn't in everybody's goddamn room. She went to certain room, but Jen was always opening up her own shit. So, so is it? So which? So which way is it though? Should people take the time to be able to learn Clubhouse and sit back and kick back, or should they actually jump to. in there and create? That's what I'm gonna say. So I jump in the pool. Oh look, Freddie B. Let me say that because I can say this and Jen Jen correct me if I'm wrong, because I've seen it even with myself. I open rooms in the beginning. My brother always telling me do this, do that, right? And I'm going to show you how the followers don't matter. Because why? I can say, fuck it. I'm changing my phone. I'm going to start from scratch with zero followers. Boom. Do a dope room. I have 1.5 in the first room I created on this page because I still had access to my club. But the Bunny Ranch Club, when I built it, though, right, it comes with those problems. Jen Jen, am I lying? Sometimes, shit. You know, I had them good rooms. Then I turn around and, shit, I do two, three rooms and shit. About 30, 40 people come in the room, which is cool. Like, even down. This room right here. Yeah. It's only, what, 80, 200, like 80 people in here. This is a small room to me. But see, I'm, I'm used to now that three, four hundred in a room, two point five, one point five. But that's how it goes. But as long as you consistent, right, Jin Jin? Yeah, because Jimmy will only have like three people in the room at first. He was really, you know, he built this shit from the bottom up. Right. And then, you know, and just like I've watched you, Jin Jin, like one minute. But look at Jin Jin now. I see them. Every time I turn around, Jin Jin got three hundred people in the room. But she, when she no, said when she I'm first still, got back, I'm still building Jimmy now. I'm still yeah, but you back though. Me. But you back though. Remember they tried to kill you at one point. Yeah. But you back. I didn't watch you go up, down, say fuck it, come back, bounce right back, be back, disappear, come back, and you back at it. But she, you're being consistent, sticking with it. You still, as long as they know, oh she's back, then people gonna still come back and say, oh that Jin Jin, follow, follow, boom, 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 and your shit back up. So all it takes is that consistency. So the followers really don't matter because. I would say on Clubhouse because shit, I can change my following. But look, Jin Jin popped in the room, Swag and popped in the room. All oh, y'all motherfuckers came in the room and just like, damn, where's go Jimmy White? He back. That's what it is. Just like a Gene and a few other people I got familiar with. So you the followers don't matter. But as long as you got a joke, as long as you be authentically you and just continue to be you, man, ain't nothing you can't do on this goddamn metaverse or in the world, period. In real. So I, I might, I might, I might have to differ with that. When I say, when you say followers don't matter, I might have to differ because I might say followers do matter. I've been I've been known to hold a room where five people be in there. I hold I hold, I held a room with ten people in there. Benzino was one of them. That room went was, viral. It's on academic room. page right now. Room, so you was in that room. So what I'm saying is, when it comes down to the followers, you got to take advantage of each person that comes in your room. And this is what I was talking about in one of my rooms. I was talking about people knowing their worth for the people that's around you. Because do the audience feel involved? Do they feel involved, or is this just just entertainment that they can just show up to? Should they feel involved? You know what I'm saying? And you start answering those questions by the content that you put out and the involvement that you have with your stage, with your audience. And you start recognizing that this is a business as in whole. And it's not just entertainment. It's a business. You know what I'm saying? And so one room goes from being three people. Three people go from being six people. Six people go from being 12 because of you taking the opportunity to recognize each and every follower that comes in that room because each and every person is important. And when you get into thousands of stuff and stuff like that, which I do stuff like that, but still it starts out small. And when you start banging from the beginning and start putting that content and start putting that format out the way that people can see it, the people, the way the people already hear it on radio, already on terrestrial stuff, 
this is the same format, same thing, but it just adds a little more spice to it. Go ahead. But, right. but swag, you know what niggas not gonna tell you though? Because niggas always talk about them big rooms. I don't give a fuck. And I'm telling you, and I know this to be a fact. We hate the big rooms. That is shit be. You got people in your back channel. You got this happening. You got people on the stage. Everybody begging to do this. That shit is a fucking headache. So I'm telling y'all, you'd rather be in a small room. If we're talking about actually content creating, right? Because them big ass room, that shit turns into a shit show. This is why a lot of the beefs that happen actually on Clubhouse. Some shit somebody didn't like. Somebody finna boom your room. Why you boom? All this old dumb shit. Them big rooms are a fucking headache. I wish, like, I, I probably steal this shit because I young said this shit. Take this back to the old club. I'll turn that chat off. And if niggas want to talk, force them niggas to get on that stage. And I've been really debating that one, too. And the reason why I'm saying that is because y'all don't understand. You got to deal with the shit in the chat. You got to deal with this. You got to deal with that. Niggas begging for green beans. Then you you mod some people. They remove. You don't know who remove. Like, damn, who remove? All they removing from room. It shit be crazy. And then you got to deal with that shit, especially when you top left. But it is. It's about connecting with the community and making the um, the audience uh, get involved. But, but this Freddie, is this is a goddamn different app. But go ahead, because you said that, Jen. Um, go ahead, Jen. Freddie, I made way more money with this page with hardly no followers. It was all building up. I made way more money than I did in my other page when I had like nine thousand followers. So followers don't mean nothing. I make way more money with smaller rooms than I do ever with big rooms, y'all. Like the over ten thousand dollars I made. I know that might not be a lot to you, but I don't even really be on here like that. Ten thousand is a lot with this small page that I have. That's I a new have a page. That's a new page, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. so, so, yeah, so followers don't mean nothing. Jin Jin, Jin Jin, I made $1,000 on my birthday in the Otis page. In just one room. I made three. I connect yeah. better in smaller rooms. Like, I don't know. I just, I like small rooms. Exactly. No, MFC, that's not, that's not true. They fixed that. Oh, oh no, I'll do it right now. And watch the room. What? Oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Uh, I'll just say that's not true. That's not true. So don't don't think that they used to work that way. I'll say that. Turning the chat off is a good thing. Just so you know. It's yeah, I agree. Okay. I agree. Not everyone needs a mic. <laughs> I would just say this way. When I started it, right, um, I was saying with about followers. I get you. Like everybody matters. That's why I try to let everybody talk. The trolls, all of them. I dress them all. Fuck it. But I started it because it's the people that who have like the twenty, thirty, hundred, three hundred thousand followers. They got all these 100,000 club members, all this old kind of shit, and they want to dangle their followers over us people who got the smaller amount or the new creators or others in the room, right? They want to say how they're bigger than us, right? Like, they, we, we, we can't get it popping either. That's why, I mean, it don't matter because if a person like myself, a person like Jin Jin, if Jin Jin can get, let me use Jin Jin for example. If Jin Jin got, a, I mean, she got 2.4 right now, but Jin Jin got 300 people in the room. Jin Jin be the only goddamn moderator. These niggas got 350,000 people. One person got 350,000 followers. Whack. Then you got 100 niggas on stage, and y'all got 300 people in the room. I might as well go to the engine room. That room got more value. That's what I mean by the followers don't matter. Because this nigga got 300,000. That person got 20,000. That person got 10, 5, 8, 16, 24,000. Damn, nigga, y'all got about like half a million followers on stage. But there's only 300 people in this room? Bro, make it make sense. Them followers don't mean nothing. Right, all right. That, I get that. that person, Are you? Hold on, hold on Swag. That person, that, 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 that fan base, and there's nothing against the goddamn owner. No, nobody should sign up for fan base. That app is fucking horrible. It has great concepts, right? But no, no, it's it's way too many motherfucking better platforms. And then, Fallon, I'm gonna get to something you said earlier about Clubhouse mentioning about something in the town hall yesterday. But go ahead, Swag. Go ahead, Swag. About that feature. No, I was saying that um, we were when. People get on here. Are they worried about bigger rooms or are they worried about bigger impact? You know what I'm saying? And I think that comes down to they it too. Are you worried about bigger room or are you worried about bigger impact? They better that's worry what about the, the that's two, what, Let me say this real quick. Two seconds. They better worry about the bigger impact. Why? The clubhouse icons ain't none of them got no big rooms. The motherfuckers are making some impact somehow, some way. Can I? Okay, so swag. Hold on, hold on, Fallon. I'm gonna say swag. Here's the here's the reality of the situation. A lot of these motherfuckers, they're not, trust me, they're not thinking about the fucking impact. They are, trust me, they're thinking about the numbers. The moment they open up a room and they see they got 30 people in a the room, they'll close that room. That tells you they don't give a fuck about impact. You know what they care about? The numbers. That's why they strategically go with these clickbait fucking titles just to get people in the room. 
Because they are driven by the numbers. They don't give a fuck about no impact. They don't give a fuck about the audience. The motherfuckers just putting on a shit show and then begging people uh, to, to tap into their motherfucking cash app. Go ahead, Fallon. Yeah, and I know you're going to mention what was said in town hall if you were there, but I thought it was very interesting, too, that... Paul and Rohan were actually shouting out rooms to check out today for International Women's Day. They were um, also talking about creators people should be following and what was going on around the app that people should be paying attention to. And like you said, um, these aren't rooms that you'd see thousands of people. These aren't people with thousands of followers, but, you know, the app is really paying attention to who's providing the impact or... Correct. You know, yeah, exactly. So it's like you can get a shout out from the cr from the owners if you're actually producing good material. And then everyone who's listening in town hall is going to go just because they were told to go. Facts. And that and that's a goddamn fact. And that's why I try to tell people. Right. Do not. And swag. This is based off what you just said, whether they talk about numbers or goddamn impact. Paul, them, they always fucking promoting the small creators or what y'all would call a small creator. Right. Because they are about the impact. And what those fucking conversations are about in that room. That's it. They don't care nothing about because you got a thousand people in the room that they don't care about that. And I, they want to know is you consistent and they want to know what kind of content is actually happening in that room. If it's 10 people, you can become the app icon because that's D on them. D on them barely could hold fucking 25 people in a room, but they still became the app icon. I, I have a question, Freddie. So back, back then uh, when I made my other page, I would get like a thousand followers like a month. Now it's so much slower for me. Like it's like that's for everybody. Page for six months, and I'm at 2,400. Usually I'll be up there really fast. Is it because like nobody's really signing up for Clubhouse right now? What what's going on? Both. Yep. Because there's there's not a lot of new users, right? And you got to remember, just because you know it's a new account, a lot of people already know who you are. So pretty much that's that. With this 23,000, I told them I basically mean you got the same following. It's just I'm still on my original account. It's only probably maybe max probably 3,000 out of this 23,000. Everybody else, they're off the app. That's why you, it's hard to grow now. It happens to me. Shit, I used to, like you said, we can do easy 1,000 per week. or uh, Shit, back in the day, it used to be 1,000 a day. But the point I'm saying is, yes, it, it's, it's more so that. The people, the users are not here. And I just want to tap back in what Fallon just said. Could you repeat that one more time? Because when Clubhouse shot you out, right, and I ain't sending myself. Oh my God. Uh, man, I got to do this because... You just said it too, Freddie B. You can't take the weight. They always shouting out the smaller creators. I like being considered a smaller creator. I'm not a big airliner because they'll say, go check them out. They actually more impactful than the people that have the big numbers. That's why. Oh, no, but Jimmy White, but, this, but Jimmy White, everything with you, right? And now I'm going to derail you a little bit because I can't do it, man. You got to understand your verbiage. No, I'm explaining what you're uh, Jimmy the White, but I'm explaining. It don't matter, bro. The people in because people keep saying like a few people came here. Steve, you want to troll. Oh, my God. But the people are actually going to come and get what the real source and substance is, whether you believe it or not. There's still a substance conversation. But it has to be informative and you got to give out facts. Well, I'm trying to give you to facts it. because when it comes to small creators, they mentioned um, now I'm going to send them to you. The reason why. Right. Fallon, pay attention. The reason why Clubhouse mentioned my brother, I think it was two weeks ago, is because of the content he was talking about leading up to, I think that was uh, Valentine's Day, right? So it was, it was about finding somebody on Clubhouse, meeting him in your room, in your house. Nigga, can I talk? So the point was, he was mentioned based around that time of the content he had did. That was dope. Why everybody want to do crash out rooms, he wanted to keep doing rooms about finding love on Clubhouse. It's smart. But if you think about it, that was content. Why? Nigga, it's Valentine's Day. So when it comes to these small creators, it's not that bigger creators think they're better than smaller creators. The smaller creators are actually creating a better content than the bigger creators. Jimmy White, but why you get mentioned by Clubhouse is because of what is, uh, who's, is whoever said it's about the quality. Okay, yeah. You not see. just, not all just because you got a thousand people in the room. Y'all niggas ain't talking about shit with a thousand people in the room. Y'all niggas just yelling and spitting at the phone. Okay, can I talk now? Okay, yeah, I just want to make that clear. Okay, cool. Yeah, exactly. And you're totally technically right to a certain degree. But would you actually actually right? But if you actually listen to Jimmy White long enough, this man, I'm always talking about two things. Oh my God. Calling the five meal girlfriend and making a baby. Yes, we know that, Jimmy White, but come no, on. Every, me, even outside of that. Jimmy White, every, every conversation should not be how you feel about something. It, no, like, curate a conversation, you, man. But you, they do you, agree with this. You should get on Clubhouse, find you somebody, get married, and have a Clubhouse baby. White, that's dope content for the week of 
leading up to fucking uh, Valentine's Day. Too. I want to find the love of my oh life. My. Get married and have me a baby. See, you're going too far. Going too far. <laughs> what the fuck does that got? What the fuck does that got anything to do with nigga? Followers don't matter on Clubhouse. Like, you, 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 oh, you out of a thousand, three hundred thousand, thirty thousand followers, find you that right one following. Lulu, he he he, he not that bright. Lulu, you know how many you know how many people been married and met each other on fucking Clubhouse and like had babies. It's so many Clubhouse babies right now. I think this shit. I think it's about four Clubhouse babies on the way right now. One is I think due <laughs> next month or the following month. The motherfuckers is fucking on Clubhouse. That's what y'all know. That's why yeah, y'all might not agree with those relationship rooms, but oh, motherfuckers is meeting up and fucking. Like literally fucking and getting pregnant. Shit crazy. It's a lot of clubhouse babies. Somebody probably needs to just name their first baby. Shit. Name the baby clubhouse. Shit. Hey, clubhouse. <laughs> Call the baby clubhouse. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, subscribe to the video, and follow us on all social media platforms. Come back daily to see new content or shit we throw up just to keep your day going. Remember, we put out nothing but premium content. The one, the only. Straight no chasers.